Hey, how's everybody doing? It's good to see y'all. We're going to do one of those lightly edited or barely edited or maybe not even edited at all videos today. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad. I got some track work going on. I got a new steamer. Most of you have probably seen it. If you have not, it's a 2662 Bachman Spectrum. I won it from Cousin Vinny's uh, contest. I got that and a don channel donation from Roy Eltham as well. And the channel donation from Roy Eltham are these uh, beautiful passenger cars. I'll show you one right now and this came from Roy Eltham a while back actually and I have not had an opportunity to give him a shout out I really wanted to wait until I tried to get it on the track and trying to get it up and <clears throat> this new steamer are gonna pull these passenger cars and so what I'm gonna do is today I'm doing some track work to better help the steamer get around the track cl more cleanly um, there's some areas over here that we're gonna be working on today and in the corner over at McKernan's Mill. Um, got to shave some rocks away and have to do some track work where there's a uh, turn and a connection at the same point, and we're gonna work on that. But what we're gonna do is these cars will not go through that area as well for the same reason that the steamer has trouble. So we're gonna be working on that area today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say hello, a quick 20 second intro. Then I'm going to come back and I'll switch you over to the camera in the corner and uh, we'll get, I'm going to actually show you the steamer going through the area right now, point out the problems, and then I'm going to be um, readjusting the track and resetting the track in the area that we're having the um, derailment and where these cars are derailing as well on it. And so what I want to do is I want to do that. I want to get the glue going and then we'll let that dry. We'll come back in. Hopefully we'll be ready. Hopefully we've got enough ro shot rock shaved away where the steamer can get through cleanly. It was bump bumping and nudging on the rocks. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. And um, so hopefully what we'll do is we'll reset the track a little bit just moving it a tad but hopefully that'll uh, straighten it up just a little bit we'll get that steamer through more cleanly and get these cars through and then hopefully we'll have shaved enough of the rocks away in the areas so both these cars can get through cleanly as well because they're nudging the rocks on that side when they're going in and doing a turn and that's causing a flange to come over and a derailment when it hits the turnout so uh, like I said we're gonna do a quick intro right now and then we're gonna come back in and go over to the corner and get to work Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Alright everybody, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to change to the which is actually, I think, the tunnel cam right now, which is really hitting the tunnel cam. And I'm going to switch over there, and then I'm going to walk over there and show you what's going on. All right. Welcome to what is called the tunnel cam, and uh, I don't know why the reservoir cam has ended up moved over under the tunnel, and the tunnel cam has moved over under the reservoir. I don't get that, but okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we are having a derailment. I'm going to go ahead and start this one as well, just in case. All right, so what's going on here is, and if we happen to be just using this film right here where you can just see my hand, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. This is going to back up footage just in case. This is B-roll, and um, uh, we're just making sure that we don't have any issues with the PC. All right, so I got the steamer right here. You can't see it right now. Gracie's about to get in trouble for barking, and um, right here is where the steamer and the passenger cars were um, knocking into the, the rock facing right there and it's causing a derailment. And so I have begun to shave all this off. It's almost done. It is still uh, bumping just a little bit in a couple places right here. And so I'm gonna uh, show y'all me doing that work. Um, and then right here, I'm going to be resetting the track. Um, as the steamer comes through here, you'll see the guide wheels want to come over right here. And this is from me shaving. I've been keeping the track as clean as possible so not to make the steamer dirty. But I got to run it through there to see uh, if it's working. 
and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this track in more just like this. Now the only thing I want to do is I don't want to create such a turn right here where I cause a problem, but I'm having a problem right here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge this in like this. Just straighten that out some and see if that'll be some help. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, use my pin vise, drill a hole right there, pop my uh, thumbtack in, and then glue it down. We'll have to stop, wait, and come back, which is why I said this video would be lightly edited. <clears throat> because I am going to have to splice these two together and then render. But uh, I'm going to run this through here right now and show you what's going on. And as the steamer comes through here, as you can see, we are nudging right there. I'm going to go ahead and pull up, if I can. I'm going to pull back up. And so what I've been doing <clears throat> is I've been just using the number 11 and uh, just almost cutting it like I would styrene, taking um, slow swipes away at it, trying to not make a big mess on the track. And so we nudged, we, we bumped right here. And so all I'm gonna try to do is just make sure that I get this out without creating another spot that it hits and so I just barely get under the surface and take multiple light swipes not cutting in hard Ideally, I will peel a little skin off. Just a little. And then I'll come back in and um, with the airbrush. Oh. I do um, I am dusting it off pretty good and I am cleaning it pretty good before I run the train back through here This rag has um, kind of a mixture at this point. It's got a mixture of CRC and alcohol on it. We don't want that steamer picking up any of this. I don't want the steamer going through here right now, but I really, um, unless I'm just going to go in and start hacking away pretty deep, I've got to run it through. Oh goodness, I just found a clip for the light board on a Kato F7, and that is an important piece that get lo gets lost very easily and frequently 
and then I have to order them from Kato. I got it. All right. Now. There's a little CRC on this, and that is not really because I want it to, for electrical pickup as much as um, it's not a bad thing, but I do want some moisture so the, the dust particles from the plaster sticks to it and gets it away from these rails. Because I'm trying to get the steamer around this track, not to the Bachman Doctor. And I'm going to wipe it again, even. But I want to make sure I'm not picking up anything and putting it on either. Alright, let's do a backup now and see. Steamer coming back. Let's see what we got, everybody. Oh, uh, it still nudged something, but I can't figure out exactly what. Now, see, we come through that turn at that turn backwards fine, but let me show you coming through the turn forwards. See that guide, those guide wheels jump off right there. Now they kind of jump back on, but not entirely, and so I really need to fix that because it causes problems at this turnout right here as well. And so that needs to be fixed. So right here, the guide wheels are coming off. And they're not coming back on when they hit the next turnout which they were at one point. Um, I unfortunately am going to have to do one more. And I don't remember exactly where. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. We might as well. We're doing this. We need to do it right. We are back in the end right now. And uh, if you're taking the time out of your day to watch this video, I want to thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Um, if you would, once it's over, I would appreciate it if you left a comment so I know you were here. Now, are we bumping now or right there? Oh, I can see where that is too. That's not hard to see. I like that. Kind of surprised it doesn't hit right there. Now that I said that, it will.
Uh oh. Sorry, B roll people. I hope that's not A roll. <laughs> My bad if so. we're done. So we're going to do alcohol. Followed by, oh no, oh yeah, my easy track cleaner. I won on Sparky's contest a couple years ago. Oh, I wonder if that's telling me something. It's close, man. Alright. There is a handle for this I could use. I don't know why I'm not. Oh, well, I do know why I'm not. Because I'm forgetful and lazy. Alright. Let's see what we got now. Alright, we back through, at least that time. And so now we're going to address this problem right here. And I'll show you once more just for good measure. Every once in a while it goes through without uh, derailing. So could show you that possibly as well. And so what, what's happening is right right there it is jumping. And it didn't do it as bad there. It just barely did it. But it's jumping right there. Alright. And I think the guy wheels are back on right. I can't tell. And so, yeah, we got a whatever. Here's a hiccup, best case scenario, even if it does go through right. I'm trying to make some shorts, and I can't. Because this looks awful. So we're going to back this off. There we go. Huh. We had to do one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know how far y'all can see. Alright. So what we need to do is find... Here. Here. Alright. Let's see, do we have possibly, uh, uh oh. Let's see if we already have a hole in here somewhere to, yeah, but that's not where I want that. All right, so I'm gonna need my pen vise. I say that, let's see, hold up there. What about here, we got one there. Oh, we do, boom, all right. So we already had a hole there where it belonged. Our glue had come a little bit loose. Or loose, I don't know I could say a little bit. It was loose. And so this might solve our problems right here. Tracy, 
It's wet. Come here. Gracie's out in the rain, and then she's gonna run in the house. Gracie! Sorry, y'all. I guess I shouldn't yell. My bad. Alright. So we had a pin in there and had that in the right place. And what happens is when I clean the track, and I clean it pretty good, there she comes, and you can hear her. Uh oh. When I clean the track and I clean it pretty good and I bear down on it, I'll pull it up in some places, the glue up. So that's what happened here. And so, as I say, this video will be lightly edited because I would like to get it out today or tomorrow. I would like to get it out this weekend. And um, so I'm not going to edit it a lot. Excuse me. And uh, but it will need to require a little editing. I can't just send it out right now because I've got to let this dry and then come back in and let y'all see how it works. So I'll have to put those two videos together and do a render. And um, then I'll send it out to everybody. <clears throat> and so what I've done is I shaved this area so I could get my uh, steamer through forwards and backwards. Um, going backwards is a different situation than coming forwards. Uh, I need more clearance coming back. And right here, I was, the guide wheels were derailing right here because my track had come loose. Now what I was thinking I was going to do, I didn't realize it had come loose, that loose. And what I was thinking I was going to do was push it in like this and do a pin vise down through it and put it in there and go. But I already had a hole in the right place, so I just pushed the track back where it belongs. It had clearly become loose. Pushed it back where it belongs now and have glued it down. So in, in, in looking at it, I realized this could be a simple fix. So what we're hoping for is to come back in about an hour and this steamer will run through here cleanly. And we're going to come back to you at that time and see what happens. Thank y'all for joining us. Um, all y'all going to have to do is wait through this transition right now. Me, I got an hour to wait. Appreciate y'all being here. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's been about three hours. We're going to transition over to McKernan's Mill, and we're going to see how it works. All right, so just a tip. Let me see if I can find another one. These push pins right here. Fit perfectly between in scale rails. They work great with a pin vise. If you've got something solid you're going into with a pin vise that's just a little smaller than the tip where you can just twist it in and adjust you can even twist it up and down to give you pressure for how hard you want um, how much pressure you need on the rails down onto the bottom onto the base um, and so I put glue on the exterior ties as well as the interior at joints and turns <clears throat> I get a good bit of glue in here at the joint and right here is where I secured it and there's going to invariably get some glue on this now the tip trick for that is you just spin it okay if I twist it I can twist it right up all right now I'm going to clean this area up right here and we got the steamer right over here we're going to see if we can run it through. We have not checked or tested or anything like that. It's actually, um, the glue is a, a little moist still, but we are muy impatient. So what we did is we've done some work here. We've done some work here. We even did a little work here outside of the camera while we were waiting on the glue to dry because uh, we had another little spot that we were bumping there. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to run our train 
hopefully back and forth a few times through this area from here and here and see if our work if we've accomplished what we were trying to uh, to do what we set out to do all right let's see if it'll get through I got it running real slow. I don't know if that's... And I think it might have stayed on. I think it might have stayed on. Made it through the turn. Let's see about the turnout. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, we stopped at the turnout. It must have pulled something off. Maybe not. I didn't have much power. That could have had something to do with it, too. All right, let's try this again. Stay on. Let's see if we get through the turnout. Yeah, boy. Heading to Elthams. I want to thank you for watching today. We were successful over here at McKernan's Mill getting the steamer through. Um, we did a little bit of track work cut out some um, scenery so we could get some clearance that we needed and we're able to get through there now not perfectly it still kind of stuttered a little bit I gotta do some work in there I'm gonna have to come in there as well and try with a passenger car and see if we can get through there with the passenger car and I'm not gonna do that on this video we're gonna do the passenger cars after we get the steamer around by itself then we're gonna attach the passenger cars and work on it that way and so I want to thank you for watching today if you're not already a subscriber I want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other model and friends, please. I'm trying to increase my watch time. So if you do have time before you go to bed or before you go to work, I have a watch a playlist called Set It and Forget It. I would appreciate it if you'd watch that every once in a while from occasion. It helps me to increase my watch time. I need about 2,300 more hours, and so I need a lot. And so every little bit helps over the course of the next 365 years, uh, 365 days excuse me um, I'm gonna try to accumulate 4,000 hours if I can so every little bit I get each day helps so if you're able to contribute by watching that I would appreciate you um, thank you very much if you would leave me a comment below to let me know that you were here and that you watched the video um, I really appreciate it when you're here and you watch so it would be good for me to know that you were here um, thank you very much this is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad we'll come back to you real soon with another video take care have a good evening